Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm a San Diego criminal lawyer. I'm also the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro located in San Diego. Today in this video, I want to discuss with you Penal Code Section 288, which is commonly referred to in California as the Child Molest Statute. When you hear a client is charged or an individual is charged with a 288, there's a lot of beliefs and there's a lot of uh, you know, thoughts and a lot of misconceptions that go with that. There's a lot of labels that go with that. And usually what that means when we see a Penal Code Section 288 case come across our desk is means that the client was over 18 and the client did something improper sexually, at least it's been alleged, with an individual, male or female, under the age of 14. Okay, so what we see is we represent these individuals in court. They're the ones in San Diego wearing the yellow wristbands. They're the ones in protective custody. They're the ones, for the most part, have never served any real time in custody, let alone state prison, and they don't know what's going to happen with their case. They don't know, quite frankly, who they could trust. They don't know if they're going to get a slap on the wrist, if they're going to spend a significant amount of their years in prison, how the sex offender laws are going to come down on them if they are, in fact, convicted. So when you're talking about a 288 case, it is essential it is absolutely essential, first, not to give anybody any more evidence than they already have against you. That goes from the first time you're contacted by the police or the district attorney's office all the way throughout the proceeding. If you're in jail or if you have a loved one that's in jail, I tell clients all the time, I said, I have told your parents that if you call and you start talking about the case with them on the phone in the jail, blame me why they hung up on you. I've told my clients, I said, if your family starts talking to you, about the facts of a case while you're in the jail, and that call's recorded, which it is, hang up on them. We don't want to give the police or the prosecutor any more evidence than they might already have. And that holds true from the beginning of a case all the way while the case is pending, and in some instances, even in the middle of a trial. And the other thing you want to do is, listen, you have to understand that if you are in fact guilty and you've done what you're accused of, there's nothing anybody can do about it at that point. And we'll walk you through that process, how to deal with that, how to deal with the guilt, how to deal with the shame, how to deal with the regret. We could walk you through that process, but trust me when I tell you that apologizing and trying to make right on your own without the advice of an attorney will be catastrophic for your case. It will be catastrophic for your defense, and, and you're going to wind up in a worse position than if you just trusted the process, and there's going to come a time and a place if you are, in fact, on the hook for it, and if you're guilty of it, to have your opportunity where you could apologize and try and make right whatever you've done that's been wrong. If you or a loved one are charged with a 288 offense, Penal Code Section 288 charge in California, particularly in San Diego, we'd encourage you to give my firm a call. We have made a career of helping people get through bad situations similar to yours when charged with a 288 crime. We can be reached at 619-295-3555.